Good rainy morning to you. This is Angela with Park Rose Permaculture. Standing in my front yard section of my food forest where most things are still quite dormant. You can see my neighbor's arborvitae hedge. You can see my Oregon curl free peach is just starting to bloom. Very excited about that. Most things are still dormant, but it is spring and we're beginning to see little by little small changes in the garden where things are waking up. Obviously big dramatic changes are about to be happening like this peach tree, but there's little things all around the garden that indicate spring is on the way. So one of the small changes I wanted to talk about is something that I've seen repeated as a question in a couple of backyard orcharding groups and um, fruit growing groups. If you look here, you can see my, one of my pawpaws, I have three pawpaws. All of them are improved Peterson varieties. There's one there, one there, and one in this side yard behind the gate. Um, this is Rappahannock and Susquehanna. So as we come in and look at these pawpaws, right now they don't look like much of anything. Pawpaws Asamina triloba is a the only uh, temperate relative of the custard apple. It is a native in North America, and you can see it has this pyramidal shape, really nice, elegant looking tree. And it produces a crop of edible fruit here in the early fall is when it is ripe. Now, I have some videos on getting your pawpaws going because they are not native to this part of the country. And actually, they're starting to be quite popular in Europe as well where they are not native. There are some tips and tricks to getting them going. They tend to die in the first two years unless you give them special care. So check out my video on how I've successfully gotten these going. So the question I've seen a few times is how do you tell, this, this tree is very late to leaf out, how do you tell the flower buds from the leaf buds. How do I know if I'm gonna get any flowers? So let me show you the difference. So if you look right here up at the end, they often look brownish or blackish. These little blade shapes, that's a leaf bud. Here's another one. Okay. Again, the pawpaw is late to leaf out where I am, but it looks like a little, a little blade shape. That's how you know it's gonna become a leaf. And there are always, it's always gonna be a leaf at the terminal end as well. Farther down here, you see these little structures that look almost like a clove, a little bit larger than a clove. Here's another one over here. These are the flower buds. And when it's not raining out, when it's dry out, they look kind of brownish black and velvety. And you can see here, my pawpaw is loaded with buds. One more time, leaf bud, flower bud. And these flowers are gonna be opening soon. Sorry, I'm out early in the morning and there's lots of rush hour traffic. These flower buds are gonna be opening very soon and Asamina triloba is fly pollinated and actually does much better. If you hand pollinate it, you can get much better fruit set. I'll have more videos about hand pollinating later, but I just wanted to share that little tip because I had seen the question multiple times, is this a flower bud or is this a leaf bud? Now you know the difference. Look for that blade shape for a leaf bud and what looks like a large clove for the flower bud. And get ready and be watching because they, as they open up, you are going to want to be ready to hand pollinate with a paintbrush so you get really good fruit set on all your pawpaws this spring. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna go inside. I'll be back later.